Sisters, this is Apostle Patrick Antoine welcoming you to LGHP Radio. And today uh, we are going to talk about uh, the 24th of Shabbat. And this is a special day. Yesterday I start uh, presenting uh, the angelic report that will take place on the 24th day of Shabbat. And this morning after I pray for all my partners, I said the Lord to allow the Holy Spirit to be upon me so I can uh, tell you what is going on, uh, that will, what will be going on on the 24th day of Shabbat. Because the Lord, you know, doesn't want you to be ignorant. It's not for any reason that he allow you to see this date in the Bible. As you can see here in Zechariah 1 verse 7, on the 24th day of the 11th month, the month of Shabbat, hallelujah, the Lord allows Zechariah to see in a vision an event. And this same event is taking place every year in the 11th month. My God, my God, this is when the angel of the Lord, you know, Jesus was known as the angel of the Lord before he came bodily on earth. Hallelujah. The angel of the Almighty God. Then he came, hallelujah, as the Son of God on earth and provided for us salvation and he, we see here he received a report and they reported to the angel of the lord who was standing among the myrtle trees amen and amen i want you every time you see a myrtle tree to remember Wow. On the eleventh day, the angel of the Lord was standing. Hallelujah. Among the metal trees to receive the report. And this year, what will be the report concerning Hallelujah? My country. What will be the report concerning my family? What will be the report concerning your business? What will be the report concerning your ministry? What will be the report concerning you? Concerning you. The Lord Jesus said to me, Amen and Amen. It's not for any reason that you see this date there in the Lord's calendar. The 11th month is when the Lord received his annual report concerning the earth and you are going to see that in verse 10 then the men standing among the myrtle trees explain they are the one the lord has sent to go throughout the earth throughout the earth the lord sent angels throughout the earth Amen and amen. To what? To then report to him what is going on. And in the second year of Darius, what was going on? Listen to this report. We have gone to our the earth and found the whole world at rest and in peace. The whole world in the second year of Darius, the whole world was at rest and at peace while the people of Israel was in bondage. And the Lord Jesus, in verse 11, uttered a prayer on behalf of the people of Israel. So, I'm going to stop there because I want you to get it. Oh Lord Jesus, help me explain 
I am the only one who is saying this all over the earth. I am the only one. I am the only one. I am the only one. It's not for any reason that the devil is against me, against Lord Jesus' house of prayer. I am the only one saying that. Imagine you are living right now. The Lord is about to get an annual report concerning you. Each and every one of us, we have a guardian angel. And your guardian angel, he's the one, he's guarding you. He's not there to interfere with your life. But he will report. He will report on the 24th day of Shabbat, which this year coincides with February the 20th. So, they, they will have a report concerning you. But also that day, the Lord Jesus may utter a prayer, prayer for you. You know, Jesus is the mediator, the intercessor, may utter a prayer also on your behalf. The Lord will receive a report concerning you. The Lord, this is why I'm inviting you that day to send your prayer request to me because I'm going to pray for people. Hallelujah. And also, the Lord will also pray for you. And on the second year of Darius, the Lord Jesus prayed. Pray. This is a prayer. Lord Almighty, how long will you withhold mercy from Jerusalem and from the towns of Judah, which you have been angry with these 70 years? My God, my God. If things are not going right in your life, the Lord may utter a prayer for you that day that day and when jesus pray when men pray god may decide not to even listen to you because you know your righteousness is like filthy rags it's like filthy rags my brother it's like filthy rag my sister the lord answered jesus that day amen and amen that day on the 24th day of Shabbat, the Lord Jesus will receive an annual report concerning you. And that may trigger, not an automatic trigger, that may trigger a prayer of Jesus concerning you to God. And if Jesus, hallelujah, utter a prayer concerning you things are going to change so and then the angel that was talking to Zechariah heard the thoughts of God and gave the prophet Zechariah what the Lord God Almighty wanted him to say so, on the 24th day of Shabbat will be a day of prophecy for me. I will be praying for you to cause Jesus to pray for you. And I will be listening, hallelujah, to what the Lord God Almighty is saying. To tell you how important this day is. The annual report, Jesus will pray, God will speak, and lives are going to change for the better or for the worse. You cannot go and live, you know, like this without prophecy, without knowing what is in what the plan of God concerning you is. Amen and amen. A lot of people can cause God to be upset at them when they are in the final days. And the Lord Jesus said to me, I want you to go out and let them know 
about the annual report. And I'm saying unto you, I am the only one. I am the only one telling you. Not in pretension. I'm not pretentious about it. Hallelujah. I know the Lord God Almighty and the Lord Jesus I, has taught me humility. Humility. And I know in order to learn these things, nobody taught me these things but Jesus himself. They are hidden, they, they are hidden secrets in the Bible that I want you, that I've been taught, that I want you to take very seriously. My brothers, my sisters, and the angel tell Zechariah what to proclaim. What to proclaim. And he was able to proclaim a few things. I'm going to go further with you tomorrow. Hallelujah. Because the Lord said, take the you know the days before the 24 to preach on that alone what will happen on the 24th i don't even get to the four horns and the four craftsmen yet my god my god my brothers my sisters i want you to know you are approaching a special day a special day in this year 5777 hallelujah where the lord is going to receive a report concerning you i want you to prepare yourself spiritually you know to be right with god because if you are not doing well you don't want the, the lord to be mad at you and you continue in a cycle of dysfunction of failure because like I said to, go to Jesus, why do you need a report? You already know the outcome. He said, I want to know how. If you fail, how you become a failure. If you have succeed, how you become a success. Because you may become a success by stealing. You may become a success by killing. Hallelujah. Is it in righteousness? Is it in holiness? My brothers, my sisters, I'm going to leave you, but I want to remind you that we are doing a fundraising to buy a little church for Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to help me. And those who will help me, the Lord said, he will bless. Do you know what Shabbat is? It is the month of the thousandfold blessing when the Lord said, proclaim on the first of Shabbat. Proclaim. Hallelujah. Proclaim the thousandfold blessing upon the people as they were about to get inside the promised land. There is a promised land that the Lord will give you. Hallelujah. And especially if you help me. I see somebody listening. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, Patrick Kalia Shubuila. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you, my brother. Uh, keep up. Uh, the, with the good work of the Lord. Believe. I bless you today in Jesus' name. Prepare yourself on for the 24th of Shabbat. And let's have a good report. And the Lord will change your life, change your family. And whatever you're doing, you will prosper in it. I bless you this day, my brothers, my sisters. You know, prepare yourself. Send your offering. I need it. Hallelujah. To close on this property for the Lord. You are not doing it for me. You're doing it for